We lock our side we were steadily just can't even reject it. It seemed my life that we could do whatever, get us respected. At best, we were stressed. At the worst, I probably said we're pathetic. Having the pieces to that falls were just the way they connected. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Attack on Time Season 3, Episode 12, and last episode. Um. They showed us this, okay, Aaron had these flashbacks, right? And then there was this dude that was in the flashback that Aaron didn't recognize. And then he remembered who he was. And then they went and talked to him. And it turned out that him, he knew um, Aaron's father, right? And uh, he liked uh, the mom, but the mom wound up marrying Grisha and then... Um, he was also the one that messed with Aaron's gear when she was she when he was training to be a scout. Uh what else? I don't quite remember anything else. I, I feel like the last episode was mostly about that dude. So yeah. Now that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have no reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please consider supporting your Patreon at patreon.com slash So let's start this episode and here we go. We had created this new weapon that I completely forgot about. <laughs> he died. And he learned that that was his nephew. He's uncle. Hmm. Oh. Yep. <laughs> so, so they're going to be using this thing on somebody? Yo. Repulsive display. Like when he was torturing that dude. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, when I started this anime, I asked if I should be watching the intros. Um, I mean, since I didn't know, I don't know if it was sub or not. And someone commented that I should skip the second intro of season three or something. But we're about to end on season three. <laughs> There's only the one intro, right? Or am I missing something? And I've been watching it for a while now. I haven't seen anything spoilery. Night of the Battle to Retake the War? <laughs> Episode 49. Okay. I completely forgot. I have no clue. I've been wondering since season one. Yes. I don't know any other other people apart from these three. Why are you so down, Levi? Oh, because your uncle died. Okay. Oh. oh 
Oh, is he? Since he lost his uncle, I feel like um, Aaron is like the only sort of like paternal figure that he has in his life, so he doesn't want him to die too. <laughs> you can learn the truth of the world in your chair there, right? Please, <laughs> 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 is your. to tire up then, oh my gosh that's so funny I think I remember yeah Feels like forever ago. <laughs> He's too eager. Recreating the first, their first fight. <sighs> so it was like. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These people were. I guess it makes sense because what's about to happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. So he threw it up. He threw up the meat. Oh my gosh, that's so funny.
Exactly. L'union fait la force. Why you gotta tug at people's hearts like that? Yeah. Ugh. He's been wanting to see that in whole lives. Why that look? <sighs> There's such a weight on Eva's shoulders. I'm like, I don't want to see him like that. She is so sasageo. The virgin son, Flagger. See how they're uh, like supporting them now. They used to, I don't know. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Um, as much as I'm lo loving this, I am so afraid of what's coming up. <laughs> Wait, this is the final episode of the season, right? <laughs> am I just realizing that? Uh. <sighs> Is this the final episode of the season? <laughs> episode 12, right? Okay then, I guess I was wrong. Why did I think it was the... I have no clue why I thought that. What the? What the? What the? What the frick was that? Okay. Here I was, I was wondering like, you know, like I said at the, at the beginning as I was watching the intro, I'm like, okay, I, I was told that I shouldn't watch the second intro because um, there were spoilers in there. So, and then I'm like, I had, like, I talked with times to three episodes, 12, right? And I'm like, I haven't seen this new intro that this person told me about. And then the way this episode ended, I'm like, that doesn't seem like a season finale type stuff. So I'm like, okay, let me just make sure <laughs> that I was watching, you know, that this was, this was actually the, like the final episode of the season. And I let the outro play out as I was looking at, you know, the rest of the season. And then I realized that there was a second part to it. And then as I was doing my research and then listening to the music, then I just started hearing that, that cracking sound, like the thing was like stopping or something. I was like, what the heck is happening? I just wanted to make sure like, what, what was happening? And then I went there, there was this scene. Clearly, it seems like it's 
sometime in the future. All of them were sort of like bloody, especially Levi. And then he's like, do you know what you what you're doing right now or something? And then he knocked Aaron and then Mikasa jumped on Levi and like they were all bloody and it seems like there was someone on the floor. I hope it's not Armin. Yo, nothing better have not happened to Armin. Because there was someone on the floor, right? Like we had those two standing up. We see that there's four people on the ground, but you can actually see who it is. And then you have those three standing on the roof. So if I had like stopped the outro playing, I would have completely missed this. Yo. Okay. When they started this episode, they showed the serum that um, Kenny gave to Levi before he died. And then I was wondering, like, we haven't... Like, he's... Kenny gave them the serum, right? And then we haven't heard anything about that. And then I think it was the like the last two episodes or something, you had the fight between um, the Beastan and uh, Reiner. And then we haven't seen anything from them either. So when they got back to the serum, I'm like, okay, now let's learn more about this. And based on what Hunchy said, they don't actually know they don't have the technology to figure out exactly what the serum is, how it works, and everything. They just know that when it's supposed to air, then it's like the the properties, I guess, that it has sort of like goes away. So then, uh, okay, then if that's the case, then we're just gonna use it to accomplish our goal. And then they gave the serum to Levi. The serum is supposed to turn you into a ten, right? And now they gave it to Levi and then they're like, okay, you're just going to have to judge the situation and figure out when to use it or who to use it on and everything. I just felt like this whole episode, Levi had this. Like he was somber during the whole episode. And I'm not, I don't know if it's because he just lost Kenny and he just realized that Kenny was his uncle and that's why he was you know feeling that way but he just had this dark this gloom over him you know and then there was this talk also between Erwin and Levi Levi wanted Erwin to stay behind because he has lost and not right so he's like if you were to join us on this expedition to retake World Maria then you're just gonna die in Levi, Levi. Erwin is like he doesn't really care like he's gonna go because he wants to know the truth behind the world and everything and that that is more important to him than you know humanity survival and you know, everything Le Levi didn't want him to go because since he has such like his brain is amazing the way he comes up with these different um plans to try to do something so if i found a value in that so that's why he wanted him to stay behind but no Erwin's like he's going <sighs> when he was trying to convince him <laughs> oh, he always also said something about him cutting up his legs or something and that he's gonna cut in such a way that they can react that you later it was i don't know it was just it was so funny it's just that the way he was trying to convince him, I just felt like it wasn't just because he was the brain of the operation, but I felt like we haven't actually seen what happened between Erwin and Levi and why Levi trusts him so much. And now with Levi having lost Kenny, I'm like, it feels like to me that Erwin is sort of like the 
only familial bond i guess that he has so he doesn't wanna he doesn't want to lose him either so that's why he's trying to convince him to stay behind but everybody's like no i'm going so <laughs> they all ain't <aim> meet <laughs> that was so funny that scene was so funny when the um after the after the adults had the discussions and everything then they're like okay since tomorrow is gonna be like the start of this new expedition then we're just gonna have meat and you know they cooked the meat and everybody was so like ah, you know meat because they haven't eaten it in such a long time and then the way they all jumped on it and <laughs> Sasha, <laughs> Sasha just took this big chunk of the meat and Connie was there trying to you know knock her out and it wasn't working oh my gosh that was so funny man and then the fight between um uh, erin and uh jean it was so funny too they were like punching each other so much that they're like is nobody gonna stop us <laughs> it's nobody gonna stop us and then leave came out and they just punched both of them and just seeing them like that i'm like okay this is like the calm before the storm you know like i feel like what's coming up is gonna be soul crushing so before we get there they're giving us this light-hearted scene and everything before they actually crush our souls before it's coming up so that's when the, the scouts were looking for the expedition and everybody was like you know like wishing them luck and thanking them for all they've done and all that i'm like oh my gosh they haven't received this much you know adoration or all that they haven't received that ever since i started watching the show the people inside the walls i've just been like oh, look at this stuff they're still going out there like why are they going out there they just go out there to die they don't bring anything to the table you know they're just being like so pessimistic about what the scouts does so the fact that they're here like encouraging them and cheering them on and all that i'm like oh my gosh as much as i love what was happening i'm like yo this is like i feel like this is like the show telling us to enjoy this moment because you know you're not gonna enjoy what's coming up next so i'm like <sighs> i was scared man like i'm scared as much as i'm enjoying what was happening i'm like i'm scared for what's happening so yeah and then when the episode ended you had um runner and bertorto like on the wall like looking whatever so i feel like they're also in the wall maria that like they're waiting there so yeah uh i think that's basically what happened this episode yeah but they talked a little bit about grisha and the fact that grisha was a human that lived outside the walls right and then he suddenly show up there but um it, he didn't want he was like he was for humans right trying to keep them safe i don't know he was for humanity while annie and the toto and uh reiner they were sort of like for the times because they broke through and then the times came in and started eating people right so it seems like they are for the times and then you have um grisha that was for the for humanity and then he came in and he started searching for the royal family the racist family and ate them all and you know yeah so that's what happened in this episode and if you guys had the reaction please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to see the next episode right now you can do so by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash yeah thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye